Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to learn to generate a sequence of dates between two given dates. Then we will tweak around to generate a series of say weeks or two weeks, seven days or 15 days or months and quarter etc. We will also see how to compute whether a given date or range of dates belong to a leap year or non-leap year. We then will see how to compute week number for a given date. For example, there should be 52 weeks in non-leap year and 53 weeks in leap year. And a particular date might be, for example, week number 1 or week number 15, 52 or 53 and so forth. For all these computations, we are going to use R on Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda R kernel. You can see it over here. All right. Here actually is my notebook, but first thing first, how to generate a sequence of dates in R? Let's say we want to generate a se sequence of dates between a beginning date and an ending, ending date. For some reasons or the other, I'm going to use R's Lubridate package, which is available on CRAN, the comprehensive R archive network. And the package can be installed using this method here as is shown install.packages the package name and the repository address actually i have commented it out but you might have to remove this comment from uh, this uh, command before running it since i have already installed it i can go through library and pass on the package name to um, load it in our environment as we can see usually we get warning messages uh, because of some reasons or the other you can hide them if you want if you feel like this is a irritating one actually you can hide them using options and one equals minus one but this will hide all the warning messages uh, sometimes warning messages could be really helpful in 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 learning about what kind of error are we committing or something but uh, I mean this kind of caution you have to uh, uh, take care of but suppose if you are not looking for any kind of warning messages like in this exercise for uh, for example I can I can run through this option okay in the next step we are going to generate a series of weeks between two given dates first here we will have a starting date and we are going to use ymd function of uh, uh, lubricate package we pass on a particular date say 1st january of 2017 i'm passing as the starting date and i'm passing 31st march of 2017 as the ending date to the vector ending underscore date and here starting underscore date this one over here we could have done simply by passing weeks which means one week itself and it returns the exactly the same results what we have got over here but deliberately I wanted to be I wanted it to be done the reason why because suppose instead of one week if I play something like two weeks over here then I will get a series generated between this starting date and ending date which is incremented by two weeks and you can see it here 1st of January and then 15 and then 29 and then 12 and so forth so exactly two weeks differences between each of those uh, results so just to summarize I hope you got the idea we use sequence function wherein we pass two arguments starting date and the ending date and also by what value you want these to get incremented and hence the sequence generated so we pass on these three arguments and we get the results so having understood the above process let's move to something different something like generating sequence of days herein what we do we take up instead of weeks like we have done we have used earlier we take days over here so the same thing sequence starting date ending date two arguments and by what increment should be there so we are passing on days over here that means we will get the dates generated the series of dates generated uh, between 
1st January and 2017 to 31st March of 2017 which is incremented by each day and, I, and, and we can see it over here it goes up to 31st of January and then goes into February and then moves into March April sorry March yes ends up to and ends at uh, to March of 2017 so what if I wanted to generate a sequence of series incremented by seven days you got it right instead of days I would pass seven days over here essentially it is same as equal to week but I want you to learn this concept the reason is because if instead of seven days I want to incre increase uh, or I want to have an increment of sequence of dates uh, by five days I can't use weeks I have to use something like five days or three days or say nine days ten days and so forth if it is seven days or something like 15 or 14 days you could have used weeks instead so we will pass on starting date or original vector of a starting date and ending date that's 31st March 2017 and then we increase the dates by seven days so we got these results which are essentially the same as what we could have got using week all right similarly we can we could have done something for months as well instead of passing days or the weeks we could have passed months and we'll get January February and uh, uh, March and of course the first dates will be shown up here why because the increment is by month so this month's over the next month starts the next month starts and so forth what about by three months instead of passing on months which is for one month you could have passed three months and that would have resulted into an increment uh, between two dates by three months and since we don't have first of April that's why we don't see the result over here but suppose if we use something like two months we should get February as the result and yes oops yes as we pass for two months here we can see we got result for January and March so increment by two months so let's get back to our three months thing first all right the idea over here is when we are saying three months basically it's like a quarter of a year isn't it it's the same as the quarter so instead of typing three months wherever we are increasing our date range by three months we should have written quarters instead and it does the same thing what result we got over here wherein what we are doing we are passing starting date again the ending date and by quarters and we got it I hope this idea gives you a fair idea about populating series of dates. Now let's work on finding which week number is it given a date. Something like that in, 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 in this direction. We, we, we want to find if we pass on a date, what week is it. And to run through this exercise, let's first create a data, date series basically a sample of the dates and uh, do the rest exercise so we take up 1st january of 2010 as the first date and uh, 31st december of 2016 as the ending date that means essentially what we are doing over here we want to populate a series between six years N why do we want this the reason is because i earlier explained you a non leap year will have 52 weeks whereas a leap year will have 53 weeks and we want to see in our competition both as a clear difference like we don't want to get confused we just want to see whether we are getting the result exactly what we think should be or not so we created a vector sample dates passed on these two dates vector and increased by each day we can see the head and tail just to get a confirmation whether the pop the the population generated over here is 
uh, exactly the same what we assumed or not so head tells me that i started with the first january of 2010 which should be the case yes it is and then ends at 31st december of 2016 yes this is the case again so total number of days uh, uh, in those six years basically 2557 there may be some leap years and there may be some non-leap years as we know yes it could be the case let's find them so to create uh, to find leap year whether whether particular year is a leap year or not we will write a small function although it's a uh, uh, bit uh, different from the exercise what uh, we were we have started with but uh, let's 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 look into like what we want to do uh, using this function a leap year we define a function wherein we pass on a year value and then we compute the basic idea over here is if a year is divided by 4 and divided by 100 and divided by 400 it is a leap year so after running this function we passed on say year 2017 whether it is a leap year or not so if if else condition says leap year take the function pass on this value and let if it is true print this is a leap year otherwise print this is not leap year simple so 2017 basically is not a leap year okay now i know sample data of dates let's check which years are leap years and non-leap years so what we do unique we uh, we use a function unique wherein we pass uh, uh, sample dates data set what we have just created and we retrieve only year information out of it that year function on the data we will actually return the years of each of the dates and we just wanted to have only unique years and then these unique years basically are passed to the function we just have created up there uh, a leap year to get an information whether a particular year in the data set was a leap year or not so we can see 2012 basically is a leap year and uh, 2016 basically is a leap year and rest are not so within the library date library we have the function ymd basically which converts any given date into year month and date format and then when we pass on to another function within library date week basically returns the number of that week for a particular date so over here we can see 16th march of 2014 basically is week number 11 and then this and first january of 2014 basically is obviously week number one similarly we could have done the same thing for our uh, day and week functions from the liberate package here what we are doing basically we are passing on only top 10 rows of the sample dates converting them into year month and date format and then retrieving which day basically it was so the first obviously is the first day first second date is obviously the second date and so forth up to 10th because we are passing only 10 rows of uh, uh, data into it and then it, it returns you back the week value for that particular day so first day obviously first week second day obviously first week up to seventh obviously these whole seven numbers belong to the same group same week number one and then second week and so forth so this looks good as an alternate instead of using liberate package we could have done the same thing using base package function itself as dot posix lt basically converts date into uh, numbers and we pass on the dates data set to it and store it into 
another vector called dt for example and then to retrieve which day basically each one of the passed on values is and then we can see like dt and y, yd y day plus one basically uh, what happens like if we run through only this this uh, um, command basically it returns value starting from zero so instead of starting from zero as index we increment it by one and then we can see like it's first day second day third day and so forth and um, like if we want to see uh, uh, the total values uh, or, 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 or more than the six um, results uh, from the header function actually we could have we could have seen for more by passing something like uh, let's say for 25 such dates okay so here it is and confirms exactly the dates in the data sets the number of days for that and then to get the number of week for each of these date we 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 will we will do this thing wherein we divide the days by 7 7 it is divisible by 7 7 count it and instead of making it uh, index as 0 add 1 to it so that index starts at 1 and you can see like 7 days they are they are 1 1 1 week number 1 and then week number 2 for another 7 dates and then week number 3 and so forth and here in since we have taken only 50 values so obviously 7 into 7 49 plus 1 and this is the complete data set passed on and retrieved the week numbers so we can see uh, we can observe here we have leap year here we have leap year and uh, this one I mean uh, this is yeah okay so this is all about working with dates and uh, days week number etc in R I hope you got to learn something if you have any question please write into the comment like the video subscribe it share it with your friends and uh, I'll come back with some more videos onto it have a nice time bye